Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a really fun, this is a throwback to Romantic Pink Eye. I think it was probably like, you know, 2016 when we talked about that. If you know, you know. Um, if you don't know, I did a, a pink eyeshadow tutorial. It was around Valentine's Day several years ago. Like it had to have been at least four years ago, if not more. And I posted it on YouTube and I accidentally called it Romantic Pink Eye, not really knowing what I was saying and then it kind of stuck. But I'm back with a romantic pink eye tutorial today and I really wanted to play with some springy colors but also make it a little bit more fun. So I added this duochrome that you will see in the video. Obviously, I, I love the way that it came out. So I feel really good right now. I love today's look. I'm also gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Makeup Forever. It's a staple foundation, one of my favorites. I love this new way of applying it too where I kind of tap it on and then pounce it in really, really hard compared to how I usually apply my makeup, which is very soft, but it's definitely a go-to foundation of mine, so I'm gonna be featuring it in today's video. I mean, do we love it? All right, you guys, so the goal for today, the goal for today is to do smoky, but with pinky, corally tones. So we'll see how much depth I can get using those. Um, I have a couple different pinky palettes here. I have the Persona Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Color Theory Pink Palette, which I thought could have some really pretty mattes in here. I've also got a couple Natasha Denona ones. This one is so tiny and so cute. <laughs> the Mini Love Palette. Got some good, more metallic-y shades in here, but kind of more purpley. And I also have this one. The Natasha Denona Love Palette. Now, obviously use whatever palette is available, but I just wanna try and play around with some pink tones today, and those were some of the first ones that I was able to pull out. So let me grab some brushes. I'm gonna start with the, the pink one here. and start with Intense. I really like the undertone in this pinky color. So I definitely want to have, this will probably be like my transition color to like the upper crease area because I really want it to like have that pinky tone but just a little bit more depth. And this one was starting to go a little, I mean it's pink, right? It's pink, you gotta work with the pinks here. So I'm gonna start deepening it up with Soul and Heartbeat. Soul is right here and Heartbeat right there. It just has a little bit more of a mauve undertone. I feel like it's gonna make it look a little bit more wearable. Not that pink isn't wearable, but you know what I mean. I've been using this brush a lot lately, the Makeup Geek Pointed Crease Brush. I'm kinda here for this. And now I'm gonna go in with Heartbeat, the even deeper shade with a smaller brush. I'm kinda start lifting the crease a tad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had a feeling like I was gonna dip into this palette. I don't, did this palette come out this year? Was it this year? All right, I really wanna try one of these. This is this is also Natasha Denona, but a lot of brands came out with um, liquid shadows last year, and I was like, ooh, I feel like that could make this look really cool instead of doing like a pale pink on the lid. Um, this is the Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Dragonfly. So it's got that like duochrome, pinky, almost green, gold reflect. And I was like, ooh, I feel like this could make this look kind of like fun. But I'm gonna try and do it instead of uh, blending it out a lot, I just kind of want to swipe it on. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's what I needed. You know, when these first came out, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do with that. And I really liked, um, she did a few demos where it was just kind of a solid color, like no blended out shadow or anything in the crease. And it looked really cool, but this actually I think is the perfect addition to this eye look. And now what I'm gonna do, since I don't wanna do a lot of eyeliner to cover this, I'm gonna take some of this. This is the Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow Pencil from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna take an angle brush and I'm gonna smudge this into lash line. It's gonna kind of double up as a liner um, slash tight line. Let's see, it'll just add a little extra definition without being too much liner. Now, I know for this look, I need a little bit more of a dramatic lash, something a little bit thicker, a solid band, and I just got these lashes from Manny. These are the Lunar Beauty Faux Mink Lashes. This is the style Nova, and I said, oh, that could be perfect for this. I need like a kind of fluffy, little bit of drama lash. Um, I did trim the outer corners a little bit already. I might have to do some more. Let's see. What do you think? Wow, honestly, check me out right now. I feel cute, you guys. <laughs> oh, I needed to feel cute. I needed this. I really, really needed this. I'm feeling this. Feeling the lashes, feeling the look. I feel freaking cute. 
All right, you guys know what time it is. We're gonna be doing complexion now, and I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Um, this is the shade R260. You know, I love the Ultra HD Foundation. This has been a longtime favorite of mine from Makeup Forever. It's just one of those perfect everyday go-to foundations. It's got a natural finish under any light. It's got a medium coverage, it's buildable. It's just a really good anytime foundation. It's available in 50 shades at Sephora. So I'm gonna start applying this same way I did uh, before, cause I actually liked doing this. I've been doing it when I apply foundation lately. So just kind of dotting it on and then I'm gonna um, pounce it in. So I was playing this game the other day and it was like, if you, you know those TikToks where they're like, oh, if this person was a makeup brand, like this is the brand they would be. And we were playing that and I actually picked Makeup Forever. A good staple, classic, a go-to, has a lot of great core products, but they also have some unexpected surprises. Totally unrelated to this video, but I think if I was a makeup brand, I would be Makeup Forever. Trying to remember what we said John would be. I think we've picked like a really, really bougie brand. It's actually kind of fun to try and pick what makeup brand you would be. So I'm just doing a light layer all over and I'm really, really pressing it into the skin. That is one thing that I've been doing since Arielle taught that uh, Zoom class, the master class that we did for Makeup Forever. I have been trying to take my time more with complexion and actually pressing it into the skin, doing lighter layers. I am gonna add a couple more dots to areas that I would like a little bit more coverage, which is pretty much here, here, do a couple more on my nose, and then around the chin area, here we go. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna get all these piercings changed out. I think it's time. So I got these, you see the little, there's like little plastic things on the front and the back, because my ears were getting so irritated after I first got them pierced, which was like, I think it was years ago at this point. It actually was probably in 20, like the beginning of 2019. I think I'm gonna get like little gold hoops put through them. I just love this formula. I love this foundation. It just goes onto the skin and it's such a perfect staple to have. And it makes my face look really good. The makeup is looking cute today, you guys. The makeup is looking cute. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer now. I'm gonna start layering up the bronzer. I definitely wanna add some definition to my skin. So I'm gonna go in with a cream and then I'll probably come in with, um, with a powder after. This cream is a little bit warm on me right now. And bringing the bronzer all the way up onto the cheeks. I do like how this kind of warms up the skin a little bit more evenly rather than keeping it just out here and then kind of bringing it all the way in. I feel like it looks a little bit more seamless. Another great thing about this foundation is that other products lay on top of it so nicely and you never really feel like you're caking up or building up. It's like when you work with these really thin layers, it just looks so good. Next, I wanna add a little bit of highlight and I'm gonna be using Samantha's new brand, Auric. Look how stunning, 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 stunning. This is her Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer. Um, I'm gonna use the shade Selenite. I mean, look how beautiful this product is. So I'm just gonna add this to the cheekbones. This is a multi-use kind of product. You can use it in a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna use it to highlight today. Look at that, shit. Basically face gloss, look at that. Look at that. So excited for her, congratulations Sam. Freaking exciting, man. I love seeing people come out with their own stuff. Now I'm gonna conceal, and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. This is the shade Pearl. Here. And might mix it with a little bit of nude. I think I used this concealer the other day to like do this, basically contour my nose, and it was like, kind of looked like I had a filter on almost. It was, it was intense. Ooh, there we go. Okay. I'm really pressing a lot harder than I used to. <laughs> Damn, you guys, this is really making me miss like full glam on the regular. I've gotten really used to wearing like very, very minimal makeup. Okay, so now before I set, obviously I still got to blend in on the inner corners. I'm gonna come back in with my bronzer brush and just kind of lightly tap it back on top. I do like the way it looks when it's like a little bit more bronzy than brightened. I feel like this was actually the perfect brush. This is one of the brushes that comes in one of the um, Dose of Colors palettes. And I use that just to like come right in here, 
to get that nice little blend. It's nice having like a synthetic soft brush. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is a little bit of blush before I set. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. cream blush. I'm trying to decide what shade I wanna use. Maybe a little too orange. Mm, that one's good. This one is kind of a more bubblegummy pink. I think this is the shade that I normally use. It's heavily, heavily used. I might end up doing a little bit of both, but I'm gonna try out this one and see. This color is very on brand for me. So I just kind of pounce it and just start building it up. There we go. I'm just gonna get like an all over nice flush of color. Oh yeah, that's a good one for this look. Very romantic pink eye. If you know, you know. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lightly come back in with the concealer because I kind of went, I mean, I like it, but I did definitely put on a lot of blush. And now this is the Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie Powder. Now I'm gonna start building up the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with Soul, that middle color that I used. Cause I don't want it to be like, you know, too hot pink under here. And now I'm gonna go in with Heartbeat and kind of deepen it up. I'm debating if I wanna go in with an even deeper shade. I think I do. I wanna do like a dark gray waterline. I'm kind of into that for this look. Okay, now I'm gonna finish the under eye here with a little bit more powder closer to the lash line. All right, before I do the last step of the lip, you know I have to contour a little bit. This is the KVD Shade Light Palette, and I just like to do it right here, so that way there's no harsh lines, and I'm just gonna tap it because I've already got like most of my stuff on right now. Just kind of tap it into the brow bone, and it just kind of softens that area right there. Okay, now for the lip, I'm gonna try out um, the House Labs Rip or RIP um, Lip Liner. And this lip liner looks pretty matte, which I'm excited to try. I don't think I've tried their lip liners yet. And then I'm gonna throw it back. I'm gonna throw it back. This was one of my old faves and I feel like it brings me back to the romantic pink eye era and it's appropriate for this look. So this is the Ofer Cosmetics Sao Paulo Liquid Lipstick. I just feel like this is gonna be a really pretty kind of neutral tone to blend in with this lip liner. And if I'm totally wrong and it looks crazy, then I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there, huh? So I'm gonna put it on like this. I'm kind of blended out. It's good. Wow, this is like a match made in Hev. You know what, I'm not gonna lie. I did not know I could love pink shadow this much. This duochrome moment with the pink in the crease, it's it for me. Now I wanna try all the other duochromes and see how it feels on my eyes because I'm kinda like, <laughs> to go out and there's nowhere to go. Anyway, you guys, that wraps up today's makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.